rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. Who could ever learn to love a beast? Right. 
what we've got, no matter what. Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate, that every daughter's great.
How is this accomplished? Oh, really, sir? Oh. Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Stop that. Oh, really, sir? <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I've stumped you. Maybe it's some sort of new fangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Oh, I beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I've never seen a talk. A talk. A talk. A talking. A Bless you. Monsieur, you are just as a bomb. Go. Have a seat by the fire. No, I forbid it. Lumiere, as head of this household, I demand you stop it right there. No, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Ooh, la la, what have we here? Do my eyes deceive me or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumia. Do you mind if I sit you? Oh, hello. Hello there. All right, this has gone far enough. I'm in charge here Mommy. and... How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, well, um, yes, please. No! No tea! You'll be here all night! No tea! There you are. Thank you. Oh! I think I scared you, Mama. <laughs> well, uh, hey there, little fella. What's your name? Chip. Care for a blanket, monsieur? I just love older men. Bad thanks! You are always trying to make me jealous. Well, it's not going to work this time. Me? What about you with Simone? Jacques. Misha. Pierre. Veronique. Oh. Veronique! <laughs> Lumière, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here before the master finds out. And the master will never have to know. Oh. As I was saying, he's Bound to find out sooner or later. Shall we hide, Mama? No, no. If you want to remain gone, there's absolutely no reason to bear. Oh, Lumiere's right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? <laughs> <laughs> there's a stranger here. The master? Allow me to explain. The gentleman was sent upon by wolves and. Who let him in? Master, may I take this opportunity to say that I was against it from the start? Who dare? Tell me, man's property. What news that he lands in me?
You know that bell, always playing hard to get. <laughs> she turned you down! For now! But I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Well, gee, if she turns him down, then maybe I still have a chance. Oh, yeah. no! Everybody's been waiting for since. Well, I don't know. 
flagship. What is it? There's a girl in the castle. Bless my soul, wouldn't that be lovely? But there is, I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories. Getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Putz! Putz! Mrs. Putz, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. See? I told you. She's real pretty, too. Oh. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the girl we've been waiting for, she's got to break the spell! Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's not be hasty. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Oh, happy, happy day! Don't stop that! We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no! I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute! Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father! Well? Is that you? Papa! How did you find me here? Your hands are like ice! We have to get you out of here. You must leave this place. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go now. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. And you're the one responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I take orders from no one. Throw her out. No, wait. Please forgive me. Please let him out. Can't you see? He's not well. He came into my home uninvited, and now he'll suffer the curse. But he's an old man. He could die. Then you should not have trespassed here. Please, I'll do anything. Belle, there's nothing you can do. No. Wait, please. I said there's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. <clears throat> what did you say? Bella, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that. You would take his place. If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but only if you promise to stay here forever. No! Forever! Forever! Or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair! Wait! Come into the light. Make your choice. Well, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. Half my word. God, no. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please, spare my daughter. Papa! Take him to the crossroads. No, not yet! Oh, no! No, wait! Please! please. Let my daughter go! No! Please! No! no. to be spending some time with us, perhaps you would like to offer her a more comfortable room? You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I'll show you to your room. My room, but I go. Do you want to stay in that dungeon forever? No. Then follow! You. Follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like. Except the West Wing. Why? It's in the West Wing. It's forbidden! You are never to set foot in there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request! Thank you. 
I thought you might like some tea. Come in. Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're a Mrs. Postier. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Oh, Careful, darling. Oh, who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. Sorry. You see? They've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of your, the brightest star of the grace of the stage. But fall under one Shh. Yeah. 
last inch of me smothered with hair. Oh, it's like that's fun.
Oh, I could impossibly go to bed now. First time in Enchanted Castle. Who said anything about this castle being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out for myself. I'd like to have a look around if that's all right. Perhaps you would enjoy it all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not so sure it's a good idea. We can't have you know who we're looking around. You know what? If you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there's to know about the castle. Well, actually I do. <laughs> May I draw your attention to our hand painting series, complete with chairs sprawling in the light on into the nymphs of the centaurs. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. Oh, Belle! Belle? Emma! Emma! Now, if you will note the unusual inverted archways, you will see that this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And, as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> now, may I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the area? Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. Only oh, he was here. <coughs> Gentlemen, nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that weight was quarried in this area. Uh, what's up there? Nothing! Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going! I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? What an idea. Hiding. Well, uh, it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps you'd like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Perhaps you would like to see the uh, garden or the library. You have a library? With books! Oh, yes. Scads of books. Mounds of books. Forest of books, cascades, cloud bursts, swamps of books, books with pictures, books with words, more words than you've ever been able to read in a lifetime, books on every subject by every author, whose others have pen to paper. My dream. 
Thank you. 